What do you think of those clouds? Looks like some rain's moving in. I could feel it in my bones. I know. You know? I'm nervous. I could feel it in my hair. <laughs> <laughs> starting to blow around and get humid, you know? <laughs> are ready. What do we just have standard uh, decafs kind of? Decafs with almond milk. Oh great. All right. The sandwiches are here. Great. It looks so good and they come with chips. I didn't oh, know that. Oh cool. Hey guys. Um, so today we're at um, South Asheville area which is a place that we lived before we now live in Hendersonville and it's a place that we really loved um, you know, being around, lots of things to do and see, and we do miss it. So we're gonna show you kind of some of our favorite things to do in the area, and what like a kind of a day in the life is like for us in South Asheville. So today we're actually starting our day having some decaf coffees and um, little sandwiches at this cute place, it's called PB&J's Cafe. There it is right there, it's very cute. It's, um, it's just south of, um, like the South Asheville, it's like in the lower area of South Asheville. And it's um, a cute little restaurant that has all different kinds of peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, but like, you know, different kinds of nut butters and different kinds of jellies and stuff. So we're trying it out actually, it's right on the main road. Um, we're trying it actually out for the first time, so. What did you get? I got a um, blackberry, um, blackberry jam with um, almond butter toasted on, wheat berry bread and do you want to say what you got? Sure. I got a toasted or I got a pecan uh, almond butter, uh, pecan, I got a pecan <laughs> butter and with a strawberry jelly on toasted white bread. So yeah, it's really good. It does. So um, we're going to enjoy our sandwiches and then take you around to a couple of our favorite places. I feel like this place is uh, a place where you do need a few napkins though, especially when you've got some uh, <laughs> stuff blowing around in the wind here. They know? do have some up front. Yeah. We actually got to order at the window. It was really cute. And I did notice too that they yeah. have cornhole you can play. Oh, that's fun. <laughs> so it's like a little fun time out too. Yeah, so. cool. Yep. I'm going to go grab us some more napkins. because. All right, awesome. I'm gonna, you know what I mean? Yeah. We didn't realize these glass windows just have the employees <laughs> just watching us do this the whole time. Yeah, we were like sitting around the corner where all the other patrons were and we got like a little embarrassed about talking real loud to you guys. So we're like, oh, we'll come around to the front where nobody was sitting. But like literally right here in this window, right behind me, it's all <laughs> the employees. They're all looking at us, you know, and we're not being stealthy at all anymore. Luckily, they're really nice. Yeah, so, absolutely. <laughs> all right, guys, check it out. Blackberry jam with uh, what is it again? Almond butter. I'm gonna try it. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's really good. And we were talking to one of the people who work here or own it, I'm not sure. And she was saying all that their like that their jams are from a local farm just in the area and so are their nut butters, so really awesome. Tastes really good. All right, I'm gonna give mine a try. Looks so good. Oh yeah. Really good. Yeah, you can like taste the pecan in it. Really mm, nice, I'm gonna try some. Okay. I haven't had it long hair my whole life, you know, so I'm like, the wind's blowing around, trying to eat a peanut butter and jelly sandwich and trying to keep my hair out of the wind gets a little crazy. You know? <laughs> Watch out, <laughs> yeah. danger zone. I don't need a jam hair for the rest of the day. <laughs> All right guys, that was awesome. Now we're gonna go take a little hike over in Bent Creek, one of our other favorite places to go to in the area.
right, so we're at Bank Creek, one of our favorite places that we love to come to. It's just like hiking trails and a cute little creek named Bent Creek. <laughs> we just got to pet a cute dog. Oh, yeah. Maybe can you, you see can the see the dog him back, back there. there. Oh, so cute. He was like a little five year five month old puppy. He was oh, so cute. He was so cute. Yeah. And so we're just gonna try to sneak down into the um creek area right by the water and uh see. Yeah, we've Sometimes uh we can we've get been, down there. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, we've been just coming to this area for so long that I kind of know all the little nooks and crannies and some of the more secret spots because uh, yeah. it used to just be this place is only 10 minutes from where we used to live. So I would always come over here like multiple times a week to uh, take a bunch of landscape photography mm -hmm. or just come and be, be in the nature and get a lot of exercise and stuff like that. And There's, like uh, after work we come over and just yeah. walk. Yeah. Also too where we parked here this trail that we're on leads right to like the back entrance to the North Carolina Arboretum. So yeah. you can come here and park and then get into the Arboretum for free. If but you feel like hiking. <laughs> yeah, if you feel like hiking though, because yeah. it's definitely like far away it's from like two the main attractions. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But yeah. beautiful hikes though. The Arboretum mm -hmm. is one of the best places. A lot of people go and I think they just kind of hang out and like see all the flowers and stuff. But there's so many hiking trails all around it. And it's also cool too. Yeah. Um, you can't ride bikes in the Arboretum. So you, it's like, you know, yeah, for you don't have hikers, to watch out for, yeah, for hikers, you don't have to watch easier. out for any yeah. bikes, back, which, <laughs> you know. It's kind of nice, yeah. convenient. Yeah, a little more relaxing sometimes that way. Yep, yep. All right, we'll see if we can get down to the river. Yeah, I think it's still up a little bit. Okay. Where it is, where we're gonna try to go down. All right, sounds good. Yep. So one time, about two years ago, I was here hiking, and right in this spot, I came walking over, and then there was a big old river otter right there and the thing was huge and he just went scooting right across and off into the woods but you could definitely see a lot of cool animals here we've seen beaver here we've seen hawks um, we've seen the river otters and all kinds of like copperhead snakes and lizards and frogs and stuff so it's a really cool place I think because it's we're right here you could see that where the bent creeks coming through it's kind of like a little valley so I think it's a very fertile little area for all the wildlife to live and stuff. So we're gonna drop down right here and go uh, around this corner here to a little more secluded private spot. I didn't really bring my uh, <laughs> my actual sneakers. Okay, that's yeah. fine. It's not too steep. No. So it won't be too long before uh, we won't be able to kind of come back here because everything's just getting so overgrown. Not overgrown, but you know, we're getting into late spring, early summer, and all the little low-lying vegetation is really starting to uh, come out, you know? You better be careful where we're walking here, though. I gotta keep a... Uh, Get on trip. If you've been watching some of our videos, you know that I fall down sometimes, so I gotta keep my eye on the trail. How you doing back there? Good. So two of my favorite wildlife encounters that we've had here are one time we saw these beavers swim right underneath the bridge that we were standing on. It was so cool to see how, how like such great swimmers they were. And um, the other time was also on the same bridge and um, there were these little lizard babies like growing in the water, just like kind of like tadpoles almost. And um, it was so cute to see them all. And there was a snake there too at the same time. So it was like wildlife kingdom, but it's pretty awesome. There's so much to see in this area. So uh, now that we live in Hendersonville, we could still come and visit. It's just a little bit of a longer drive, but it is a place that we still um, love coming to and walking along the river and enjoying the nature that is in this area. All right, so now that we are refreshed and rejuvenated after our time here in nature, we're gonna head over to this place called Biltmore Park. So we're gonna bring you with us. So we're now in Biltmore Park, which is like a little kind of planned community, town, like downtown center, where um, there's like restaurants and shops and a movie theater and a YMCA um, at the bottom level. And then kind of like up at the top, there's like uh, apartments and stuff like that where people live. And um, it's really cute, really nice. There's um, an REI, there's, um, like I said, a movie theater. Like an athleta. Yeah. Loft. Um, yeah, all sorts of little shops. Yeah. 
and um, like a spice Barnes shop. Barnes and Noble. Yeah, Barnes and Noble, lots of things to do. Um, and we're here to get some dinner and maybe poke into a little couple of shops. Maybe, I don't know, yeah. we'll see. Um, but it's such a cute little area. We love coming here. And we actually used to live literally walking distance. There's a yeah. little path um, through like through a nature area. Yeah, nice wooded, like, nice wooded walkway area and stuff, so. Yeah, that connected this area to our apartment. Yeah, that's So great. Um, when we lived here in South Asheville area, it was really fun to come and do that walk and get to go to little restaurants and shops and stuff. So we're gonna enjoy some dinner yeah. and uh, show you around a little. <laughs> what do you think of those clouds? Looks like some rain's moving in. I could feel it in my bones. I know, you know? I'm nervous. I could feel it in my hair <laughs> starting to blow around and get humid. You know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, another thing I like about this little area is like you're doing, you're just walking around and there's some nice little sculptures right here and they're blowing in the wind. Mm -hmm. yeah. So pretty. Real cool. It's yeah. Very nicely done here. Everything yeah. Everything looks real nice, clean, yep. well put together. Yeah. What do you see? I see a poster for the Northmen. Yes. We're going to be coming to see that tomorrow. <laughs> it looks so good. It does. And it will probably inspire me to be very Viking-like all summer long. Yes. You already look like a Viking. Thank you. That's the <laughs> nicest compliment anyone's ever said to me. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> All right, so we're at Bricks now, and this is a little pizza restaurant. It has other things like sandwiches and stuff like that. Pasta. And, yep, and we come here um, regularly, uh, especially when friends or family are coming too. We like to um, come here and have food, um, but we're really enjoying the atmosphere now. It's like. We have it all to ourselves because we're actually a little <laughs> early. <laughs> it's like, yeah, it's like 3.30 yeah. I think right now. So. I know. So we're just going to um, enjoy our little, we got pizzas coming and some salads. So we're just going to enjoy that and have a nice little lunch dinner. Later. <laughs> and now we're going to eat our delicious looking salads. All right, our pizzas are here and mine's um, the veggie pizza with some vegan cheese actually. They have regular cheese and vegan cheese. And I'm going to be a wild woman and have a little uh oh, what? watch out. Watch <laughs> out. <laughs> yeah, it's good. All right, guys, that's it for today's episode. We hope you had fun coming with us to South Asheville. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and also hit that notification bell so that way you'll be updated when we post new content. We'll see you next time. Bye, guys. Bye bye, guys. Take care. <laughs>